This is what we're making today, Adeptus Temptation. This is a chicken from China, which makes it a Chinese chicken. The first thing we're making today is essence of chicken. We're gonna butcher this chicken into smaller parts and then extract every little bit of flavor from it. If you guys don't know what essence of chicken is, Google it. Apparently it has a lot of health benefits. Anyways, back to the cooking. So far we've taken off the head and its legs. Now we're gonna pop out its wings and then cut it right off. This is the chicken spine. We're gonna cut it out with scissors. Once the spine is out, we simply cut the leg and thigh away from the breast. And as a final step, we just want to cut this breastplate in half. Don't worry about the look, just hack at it. We just want to make it smaller. Once the chicken's been cut down, we're gonna remove the skin. We just don't want too much fat in our essence of chicken. Now it's time to make our essence of chicken. In a pot, we're gonna throw in a bowl inverted. Then we're gonna lay all our chicken pieces on top and around the bowl inside the pot. So this is how it works. Pretend this pot is a sauna. We're gonna throw the chicken in there and we're gonna sweat the crap out of it at a very, very high temperature. Once we've sweated this chicken dry and all of its sweat and juices is at the bottom of the pot, we're gonna take it off the heat and that's when the magic happens. But before we get to that, we're gonna wrap this thing in aluminum foil very tightly so that no steam gets in or out. We're gonna drop this guy in the steamer for four hours. While the rest of the chicken is in the sauna, we're gonna throw these guys in the hot tub. We're gonna bring this water to a boil and then extract the chicken. We're gonna temporarily put the chicken aside and then discard the water. Once that's done, I'm gonna take a nap. After four hours, it's time to cool this thing down. We're gonna extract this pot and then let it rest for about 30 minutes. So this is where the magic is happening. While this is cooling down, the air pressure from the bowl inside this pot is sucking all the juices into it. And it's during this process is where the health benefits start to occur. And again, I can't explain it to you guys. I don't understand the scientific mumbo jumbo. So go Google it. So once we've opened it up, we're gonna take this chicken and combine it with the other chicken. Then we're going to lift this bowl out and that's where we see the essence of chicken. This is pure chicken juice. There was no added water to it. We're going to quickly strain it and then set it aside for the moment. Next, we're going to make a chicken broth. We're going to take all the chicken parts and then wash all the scum off of it. Then in a pot of cold water, we're gonna drop our chicken in. We're gonna bring this to a simmer and then simmer it for four hours. While our chicken broth is simmering away, we're gonna prep all our other ingredients. So first, we're gonna rehydrate the shiitake mushrooms. Then we're gonna boil some quail eggs for three and a half minutes. After three and a half minutes, we're gonna extract the egg and then just set it aside. This is Mr. Krabby. We're about to boil him alive. In a pot of boiling water, we're gonna throw him in there for about two and a half minutes. After two and a half minutes, we're gonna take him out 
and then set them aside. We're gonna let them cool down. The struggle in the pot made him lose some of his claws and legs. This is an abalone. We're gonna take it out of its shell. We're gonna run our paring knife underneath and take it right off. Next, we're gonna clean this abalone. See this outside part? We're gonna cut it all off. Anything black must be taken out. This is Jinwa ham. It's rock solid. See this part right here? That's the pig's bone. We're gonna cut it out. This ham is so expensive, my god. This little piece cost me $9.20 and I just cut off one third of it because it was bone. We're gonna cut this ham into thirds. This is a pork belly strip. We're simply gonna cut this into three pieces. Then back to Mr. Krabby. We're gonna crack this shell out. We're gonna pull the top off, clean it, and then use it to flavor our soup. As for the insides of the crab, that's for me. That's my reward. Then we're gonna crack some claws and then some eggs. Then we're gonna cut some Napa cabbage into one inch cubes. And blanch it in a pot of hot water for one minute. We're gonna take the cabbage out and put it in cold water to stop the cooking process and give it a bright green color. And this is our stock after four hours. Now let's assemble. After arranging it, we're going to wrap this in foil again and then do the same thing we did with the essence of chicken. We're going to cook this for 5 hours. After 5 hours, it's ready. At this point, you still can't smell anything. Everything is trapped in that pot. Once we've taken it out the pot, we're not waiting. We're taking this aluminum foil and eating this as soon as possible. And for the moment of truth. Alright, it's finally time to eat this. Only if you guys could smell this. You know what this reminds me of? Have you guys ever entered into a Chinese seafood restaurant and take a big whiff? That's exactly what this smells like. A Chinese restaurant. And it smells good. And in case you didn't know, a detestation is based off the most expensive soup in the world. Buddha jumps over the wall. Or shark's fin soup. So, we made the Genshin Impact version of this, and luckily it's not as expensive. But can you imagine if I used real Matsutake or shark's fin? 
My god, this soup would be so expensive. By the way, I'm very against eating shark's fin and I don't promote it in any way. I'm just throwing it out there and we're gonna leave it at that. Okay, okay, back to cooking. I mean eating. After serving myself all the ingredients in this bowl, oh, I'm still serving myself? Come on, when's the eating gonna come? Anyways, that weird looking stem thing I put on my plate is ginseng. And spoiler alert, it doesn't taste good. Ah, oh, it's finally time to eat this. Only if you guys could smell this, my god. That soup is so flavorful. By the way guys, I didn't put any salt or pepper in this thing at all. And my god, is it so flavorful. Look at this pork belly, it just like falls right off. My god, this thing just melted in my mouth. After eating this, my favorite things on this plate was the scallop, the crab, the pork belly, the shiitake, the shrimp, but honestly, this ginseng I'm about to eat, bleh. I'm also not a big fan of the abalone. I'm not a fan of that texture. It's like a weird soft and crunchy. I don't know. And as for the jinwa ham, I'm also not a big fan of that. I don't like the jinwa, the ginseng, or the abalone, but everything else, really good. And this was my take on Adeptus Temptation. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed that episode. I put 10 hours of my life cooking it. Starting next week, I'm going to start producing 2 videos a week. So guys, if you guys have any suggestions, please post it in the comments below. And if you haven't been here before, don't forget to subscribe.